Good day everyone. I am Joseph of Digilitic Solutions. I am a consultant, trainer, speaker, and a book author. Welcome to our course, Mastering Machine Learning Algorithm. In this lesson, we will learn about conditional probability. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the concept of conditional probability, relate the concept of conditional probability to real life, and appreciate the concept of conditional probability. In our last session, we talked about probability and distributions. We learned the two mathematical statements that state that the interval is 0 to 1 and that the sum of all the probabilities or probability measures of the outcomes is equal to 1. We also discussed about the main set and the subset in relation to random variables. The link to lesson 3 is given in the description below for you to enjoy your learning more. Many times we make decisions whose outcome is dependent upon another. So for example, you would like to go to the mall if you have some money this week. Here, you're going to the mall is dependent upon having some money this week. Of course, you cannot go if you do not have some money this week. So this kind of problem is explained by conditional probability. So conditional probability is defined as one that is dependent on something before it is happening. It is also defined as the likelihood of an event or outcome occurring but based on the occurrence of some other events or prior outcomes. So apparently, we are considering events here. So for better and clearer understanding of this concept, let's have this as an example. I toss a coin and I will tell you what the results are. So here, you cannot witness my tossing of the coin. Like for example, I am in my room and then you are outside waiting for me to tell you the, the result of my tossing. So we have two events here. The first event is that my tossing of the coin and the second event is that me telling you what the results are. So here, the dependent event is me telling you about the results. Again, the dependent event here is that me telling you what the results are. So it means that if I cannot toast the coin, I cannot tell you anything. Let me repeat that. It means that if I cannot toast the coin, I cannot tell you anything. So it's like I, I cannot give you something if I, if I do not own it. So I cannot tell you something if I did not do it. So now let's make an assumption. These two events are represented by two random variables. So this, the, these are the two random variables. So we have x is 1 if the coin lands heads and 0 if it lands tails. y is 1 if I tell you heads and 0 if I tell you tails. Do, don't forget these two random variables. So x here is the first event and y is the second event. So it means that the outcome of y is dependent upon the outcome of x. So that means without x, there is no y. Whatever the results of x would be the result of y. So let's assume that I am honest, that I am not acting strange. So considering these situations, we can use conditional probabilities to describe the probability that y takes a certain value given given that x has taken a particular value so in short what would be the value of y given that x has already taken place so 
this can be written as like this this one okay so again the situations or the problem that we have just stated can be written as this so this is the mathematical statement of the problem so this expression is read as the probability that y has the outcome y given that x has the outcome small x so if you would like to ask me th the meaning of the big y and the big x and the small y and the small x here we have already discussed that in lesson two so if you haven't watched lesson two or i mean lesson three you can go back to lesson three just pause this video for a while and then if you're done with lesson number three then you can go back to lesson number four so again i would like to say I would like to say that the assumption in our le in our example is that I am I am telling the truth. With this, we can say that the probability that I say heads if the coin lands head is one. Okay, this one. Okay, let me repeat it. So we can say that the probability that I say heads if the coin lands head is one okay so in the same manner we can also say that the probability that I say tails if the coin lands tail is also one okay so they have the same probability so that means if y is one it is because x is one so y is zero it is because x is zero again the common denominator here is that i am telling the truth i am honest and that means the probability will always happen so now we're going to use the equation so we learned in lesson three so if you haven't watched lesson three you may pause again this video and study lesson three and then come back if you're done so this gives you deeper understanding and significant appreciation of this lesson. So maybe at this juncture, you would like to ask me, what about the other two cases? Are they disregarded? What happened to them? So here, we are actually referring to me telling you it is tail even if the result is head. So remember that zero is tail and one is head so we are looking for this and also for this one it is me telling you that it is head despite the fact that the outcome is tail so we are looking for their values what could be their values so this situation has something to do with the whole situation they have the bearing to the whole to the whole situation in the reference to the first two situations that we have already discussed it's okay remember this so but then again I would like to tell you that you have to bear in mind that I am honest that in no way I am acting strange don't forget that that is always our common denominator for this lesson so for the first situation for the first situ situation Okay, so we are connecting this one and then to this one. Okay, see? So we can write it like this. So in this case, we are looking for the probability of me telling you that it is tail even if the real outcome is head. So remember that again I am honest so this is so this probability is already one so hence to sum up the probabilities of two events we add 0 plus 1 and th that is equal to 1 so remember that this event is very impossible to happen why it's because I am honest I can never I, I can never do this I can never tell you that it is tail even if the outcome is head no that is impossible again I am an honest person okay so this is zero 
its probability of happening is zero and then this one is one so re remember that I tell you its head because X in the first place is head so again I tell you the truth what was going on so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 now so this satisfies our equation 2 the probability of me telling you it is tail even if it is head is 0 so this is because 1 that represents the R or random variable so remember the R or the random variable so for a very short review a very quick review this is something to do with the main set random okay minus the real event which has a probability measure of 1 is 0 so that's why it's 0 so 1 which means the total measure of the random variable minus the probability of happening this one that I tell you it's head because the result or the outcome was really head then that is 1 so 1 minus 1 then the result here is 0 again I would like you to remember this I am honest and there is no chance of me telling a lie so just like the first situation this situation follows the same kind of reasoning so these situations are actually very easy to understand but then because human tendencies are not perfect let's make something more interesting then because sometimes we can be dissuaded or we are influenced by some other factors that we tend to not tell the truth so that is very interesting so we will consider this kind of problem this is actually the first problem with a twist so the twist is like this so this is the story let's assume that a coin lands tails I tell you the truth but this time it is tainted with some lies the proportion of telling lies or telling the truth if it lands head is 0 0.8 again the proportion of telling the truth if it lands head is 0 0.8 so it means that if the coin lands heads I'll confess the truth with 0 0.8 probability and 0 0.2 probability of telling a lie that is it lands tail so this one this list is the list of our assumptions so this means that I tell you 1 if x is 1 so its probability is 0 0.8 and there is a, a chance that I will not tell you the truth and that is 0 0.2 which means I will tell you 0 even if x is 1 and then this is the first event then we have here the first two I mean the, the last two cases and that is I'll tell you 1 if even if x is 0 and I will tell you that y is 0 if x is 0 so this is our first event this is our second event so using our equation let's check if the sum of the first two events would be equal to 1 and also the second two events so we always go back to our equations that we learned in our lesson 3 so the equations can be written as this just to prove that this one and then this one is equal to 1 so here we add 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 so for these two events okay this is but uh, telling the truth and this one is telling a lie so 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 that is equal to 1 and also for the first uh, second two events so we've added 0 and 1 and that also 
is equal to 1. So with this, we have proven that the sum of the probabilities is 1. So this kind of situations or problems are actually very easy to understand because we only have to think of the percentages or the probability measures and then we add them not so it does not involve deep thinking but in our next lesson we're going to have more twist about this one and we're going to make these situations more interesting I know that you have some questions in your mind like what is the probability that the coin lands head and I say head this sounds so interesting and significant how we apply the concept that we have learned or we have just learned shall be taken in the context of the next lesson so that we will have a full appreciation of the application in, re in real life and in the context of machine learning so after all being said and done let's try to do this what is a conditional probability how can this affect our decision making please write your answers in the comment below do not forget to subscribe like and share please click the bell icon to be notified every time we have a new session see you in the next lesson